Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to understand what is Azure Data Factory and what are the component which we should aware from the theory perspective. So that we are going to learn in this particular video. Okay. So whenever you will create a pipeline, so what are the components which are involving that all we are go going to discuss in this particular video. Okay. Before coming to the Azure Data Factory, first we should understand the ETL. What is ETL? So ETL is nothing but a extract extract transform and the load okay and the load okay for taking example suppose you have a data that is available in a sql server suppose you have data that is available in a oracle database suppose you have data that is available in a amazon s3 okay so in a real time you can get a different kind of the requirement okay so you have to extract the data from a different different kind of the databases okay that is nothing but a extracting a data from a different database is nothing but a extract okay once you are extracting what actually we do we actually try to do a some kind of the transformation that is a t transformation what is transformation means suppose whatever the data that is available okay we want to do some kind of the filter condition suppose i want only the data that is whose salary is greater than uh, 1 lakhs okay so i will try to apply some kind of the transformation similarly we have a multiple transformation available when we will do a practical we will try to understand more about it okay so first we try to do a extract after that we try to do a transform and finally we try to load only the specific data based on our requirement okay so this whole process is nothing but a ETL process extracting a data from a source apply a some kind of the transformation and finally load into a destination after that we actually try to do a some kind of the visualization and give it to the stakeholder so that was the process but as part of the ETL these are the process we generally try to follow now why we are discussing about the ETL ADF is also nothing but a it is a ETL activity okay so when we talk about in azure space right in azure space when you want to do a etl activity then we use a azure data factory azure data factory with the help of the azure data factory we actually try to do and perform a etl activity now let us try to understand more about it okay so let me try to show you one of the pipeline okay so this is the pipeline we have now if you can see we have a csv file that is available csv file that is available in one of the blob storage so this is our blob storage and here our csv file is available now let me try to give you one statement okay give you requirement so we have a requirement our source file is available into a blob storage account and i want to move into the sql server table i want to move into the sql server table so that is my requirement that i got it from my product manager so this is the my requirement i have data that is available in a csv format and that is available in a blob storage and i want to store into a sql server database okay so that is the requirement which i have now in azure space when you want to perform this activity for that we will use a azure data factory okay so what are the component will be involving here that we are going to discuss so we have a csv file that is our source okay so this is our csv file source now what is our sql server where we want to load we want to load into sql server so that this is our sync this our this is our sync okay we should know that terminology what we are calling we are calling as a sync where actually we want to load what is our final destination final destination is nothing but uh, we call it as a sync okay now you have a data that is available okay csv file now if you want to connect to this particular blob storage right you want to connect to this particular blob storage then only you will be able to access right so for that you should have a some kind of the access key through through which you will be able to connect to the blob storage and you will be able to connect to that particular file so for that we actually try to create a link service so with the help of this link service we actually try to pass all our access key information so that we can access to this blob storage okay so link service with the help of the link service this is a linking factor through which we can access to the blob storage similarly here also when you want to load the data sync right first you should have access 
for that SQL Server table, right? So for that, what actually we do? We actually try to create a link service. Okay. First thing is like, what is our source? We know our source. Then second thing is like, you should have access so that uh, you can uh, create a, some kind of the linking factor. So for that, we will create a link service. Now third is like, th let us try to understand the data set. What is data set? So this data set is nothing but a this data set will indicate this particular csv file okay what actually our file is so our file is csv file so this csv file will indicate the data set okay so what actually we do we try to create a data set we try to create a link service through link service we try to connect to this particular source file and we try to indicate so this csv file will come as a csv data set okay so we understand about the what is our source file we understand about what is our link service what is our csv data set okay similarly here also this particular table which we want to load right this is nothing but our data set okay now what actually we are doing we are trying to copy a data from blob storage to sql server right so we have a different kind of the activity so this activity is nothing but a copy data so copy data is also one of the activity copy data is also one of the activity okay similarly if you want to delete so we have a delete activity similarly we have a multiple activity data flow we will try to understand more about it when we will do a practical okay so this is the overall flow okay i hope you got idea okay so let me try to summarize it okay so whenever we actually perform an adf right so first you will be having source okay you will be given your target location target location based on your uh, based on your uh, uh, requirement you suppose let us take a copy activity suppose you want to perform a cap copy activity from source to a target okay from this source if you want to access this first you will try to create a link service so this is nothing but a link service you will create after link service the data set will come into the picture through data set will get to net will get to know this will actually point out to this particular source file okay now after data set the copy activity will come here also copy data set will come into the picture where actually you want to load the file on which particular table you want to load a file okay so target this will indicate the target uh, destination so we if you want to access the target location you should have a link service so we'll create a link service and then finally it will point out to this target location whatever it will be okay so these are the terminology which we should know we should have a source, link service, data set, copy activity, link service, target and all. Okay. Apart from that, what actually we should also know about the integration runtime. What is integration runtime? Okay. What is integration runtime? So suppose you have a whatever your source is available in Azure space and whatever the activity you are performing. Okay. And what, wherever you want to load that is also available in Azure space. Okay. So by default, we get a auto resolve integration runtime. So if you use this auto resolve integration runtime, this is nothing but it is an environment. If you are doing into a same environment, so you can use auto resolve integration runtime. Okay. Similarly, we have a self hosted also. So suppose you have a data that is available in on-prem server. Okay. And other locations. So for that, we actually try to create a separate environment, separate self hosted integration runtime. Okay so that which is we should know okay similarly also we have a ssis integration runtime for the ssis okay so i hope you have got overall idea about what is azure data factory what is etl and what are the activity we try to do and in next video we will try to do a practical and we will try to understand more about it thank you